But looking ahead to tomorrow and again during the day on Thursday, we have a lot more rain coming across the area. Looks like a rainy sky right now as we look beyond the high rises in downtown Birmingham. There's the leading edge of this on the WVTM 13 Live Doppler and the leading edge is the worst part of it. That's where the most intense rains occur and that's where the majority of the lightning is too. That's running from southwestern Blount County through Jasper, then back to the west through downtown Fayette and back into Lamar County. The rest of this is solid rain, but it's not as intense as that initial surge comes through. And that's again where most of the lightning is moving steadily to the north about 40 miles per hour. I see no reason that's going to change. So the rain now falling here in eastern Walker County now arriving at Jasper. That'll be in Winston County in about 20 minutes or so. Same thing happening in Coleman County. For now, the worst of it's pulling away from the city of Birmingham, but more is coming in. Hayden pouring down rain at this point. Locust Fork, it's about to pick up too. This all extends back to the west as well. Tuscaloosa looking better now. Shelby County, though, getting plenty of rain, and that's going to pass up through Jefferson County as well. Everybody, if you're going out to vote at the last minute, you will need the umbrella this evening in much of the area. Your 12 hour forecast, rainy skies this evening, impact weather. Later tonight, some patchy fog and very muggy. Chance of a shower overnight, but there shouldn't be much. Temperatures reaching the upper 60s or so. Model forecast will start off at midnight tonight. By then, everything settled down quite a bit, but it's not the end of the rainy period. Tomorrow morning at 10 a.m., maybe a little rain shows up, but I think the best chance of rain tomorrow and storms is during the afternoon and evening. That's 7 o'clock or so. A few of these could be strong to locally severe, like we're seeing today, maybe a bit stronger than that. Another band comes through Thursday afternoon, and then finally after that, it gets a whole lot better. Wednesday's rain chance 70%, 80% Thursday, then down close to zero Friday through Sunday as conditions improve. Seven day forecast looking like this. Impact weather again tomorrow, Thursday. Scattered storms tomorrow, thunderstorms likely Thursday. A little bit cooler on Thursday, 78 the high. Then the whole world changes here. Much nicer air comes in for Friday and over the weekend. Sunshine, warm, becoming less humid with time, and then maybe a bit more warmth and humidity as we get into early next week. Highs in the upper 80s by next Monday and Tuesday with lows back in the 60s again.